What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I have 17 credit cards with $174,500 worth of a credit line. That's a lot, right? So why do I hold on to this many cards? I'm going to tell you that in this video. Guys, if you could, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And uh, if you want to go ahead and follow like my main channel, uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. That should be in associated channels or it might be in a link in the description. Now, I have all of my credit cards stored in this wallet. I have mine. I have Erica's because she is a authorized user on a lot of my cards, as well as I am an authorized user on her cards. So whatever her daily drivers are, uh, she uses in her wallet. If, they, if they're not there, then they're in this book. If you guys are interested in this book, they sell it for $9.99 on Amazon. If you guys want to go and uh, get it yourself, again, here's the link for it. The link will be down in the description if you want to be a part of it. It does help out the channel as well because I have an Amazon Associates account. So if you want to get it yourself and you have a lot of credit cards, feel free to go ahead and get it. It's a great book. Uh, it obviously does uh, a lot for the normal uh, person, right? If you do have, it doesn't do much for the normal person that only has two credit cards. But if you have credit cards that you still have active, but you don't have in your wallet, you want to make sure you store them in the right place. So anyways, this book can really, really help uh, a lot of people. But um why do I have all these credit cards that are in here, right? Why do I have credit cards with a $1,000 limit, $2,000 limit, $5,000 limit, $30,000 limit, whatever, right? Um, this, this book that's right here, right? I'm going to show you this because it's not showing any of my information. Um, this book right here is fantastic for storing them away. So I can take this and put this directly into a safe so that nobody can really access it. And I don't have to just throw my credit cards everywhere, right? It's like you're a credit card collector. But anyways, why do I have all of these different credit cards? Is there any reasoning to having $174,000 worth of a limit? Well, it's not necessarily just about the limit, honestly, but that is a main portion of it, which I will get into later in the video. Uh, the first reason is for gaining rewards. If they have rewards on groceries, on dining, on travel, on all these things that you may do, then it makes sense for you to get rewarded for doing those things. You know, you're going to have to spend the money. So if it costs a dollar and you can get 4% back, then get the 4% back. The issue with that is that a lot of people get into a tricky situation where they're like, I'm spending this money anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and get these rewards and they end up overspending. And that's where it becomes a fear. But if you can manage things the right way, gaining rewards in so many different credit cards that you have, that's the reason why you would have daily drivers because maybe a Discover It card gives you a 5% on a certain category that you didn't have before or you get 5% on the shirt that you were going to get because you know you needed it for somebody's party, right? Um, so when you do your normal spending, all of your normal spending like groceries, gas, uh, travel, just a lot of stuff, you can now get a percentage back on what you are spending. Anybody would take, um, if they said, hey, you're going to get four cents off of this. They'd be like, all right, I'll take that. I'll get four cents off of it every time. Yeah, sure. So that's really what it's all about is gaining those rewards is the main reason as to why a lot of people will start getting credit cards. The next thing, uh, reason why I have so many cards is bonus money, right? I've gained so many bonuses off of all of these cards from $200 in cash back all the way up to $100,000 in membership rewards points. So you're gaining a lot of, um, you know, bonus money, which I would refer to as credit card churning. And I did have a really popular video on credit card churning on my main channel. And maybe I'll, you know, recreate that in more of a 2023 version rather than a 2000. 19 or 2020 version. So I definitely will do that. But bonus money is a big part of it. If you can gain something extra for the normal spend that you do, um, then it's always great. But again, there's always that fear of overspending just to reach the bonus. If you don't feel like you're going to reach the bonus with your normal spending, then don't do it, right? If you feel like you're going to gain a benefit out of it, more of a benefit than your normal spending card. So say if you have a grocery card over here and this new card doesn't really give you anything for grocery spending, will you gain more with the bonus than you would with the grocery spending? Probably. So just transfer your grocery spending over here and then transfer it back when you're done, you know, spending for the bonus. So 
that's really the way that you do that. And that's why I have 17 cards or before I had 21 plus cards. Um, another reason as to why I have so many cards with a high limit is free stuff. You know, there's free things that you gain all the time when it comes to free stays at hotels, especially with, uh, you know, some of the hotel cards like the uh, Hilton uh, cards. And, you know, you may get, you know, membership rewards points again to where you can easily purchase something uh, for free. Uh, I've had so many situations where I have used my membership rewards points maybe on Amazon, which you don't get as much back, but you do use it and you gain free stuff because technically, you know, that was money that you would have or you didn't have um, because, you know, they gave you that bonus. So free stuff is definitely a, an interesting piece to it. It's not the biggest reason, but it is an interesting piece to it. Um, one of the bigger things that we have to kind of focus on is more about the credit score. That's the next thing. Credit score and how many cards you have really does factor into what your score ends up being. It's not really the largest impact to your score, but how many accounts you have open is always great. And also the amount of utilization you have. So if you have, let's say 21 uh, credit cards or 17 credit cards, that's 17 accounts that goes towards your credit score, which is known as the more accounts you have, the better your score ends up being for that specific category. And then also utilization, right? If I'm spending $1,000 but have one credit card open with $1,000 in the credit line, I'm maxing out the credit card. My credit card utilization looks horrible, right? My credit score goes down. However, if I spend $1,000 with $174,000 worth of a limit, well, now what does it look like? My credit score is really, really good based on that high impact to your score, which is credit utilization. So that's a big reason as to why I have so many credit cards is to keep that credit utilization low, even though I may spend a little bit more in certain areas as you, know, you start to make a little bit more money, right? And uh, the last one, right, but certainly not least, is the fact that I do credit card reviews online. Like I like to review the card and I'd rather own the card and talk about the benefits rather than not own it and just talk about what it is, right? Because I can't really tell you if it's a good card to get, give you that advice, if I haven't used it myself. Now, if I have used it myself, which I've used a lot of cards and I have canceled it, I will tell you the reasons why I'm canceling it, why it's not a card for me, but it may be a card for you. So ultimately, um, these are all of the reasons why I hold, uh, you know, t uh, not 21 credit cards, but 17 credit cards with $174,500 limit on, you know, all of those cards all together. So let me know what your, you know, how many cards you have and how much of a, a limit you do have. Because again, it all matters what the limit you have, the utilization you have, and that's the highest or one of the highest impacts to your score uh, when it comes to your, your overall credit score there. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.